Ladies and gentlemen, a long weekend is coming to an end. We have four players who have fought it out in so many rounds here against 64 other players. And they were battled out here for a prize pool of 150 euro. So it is a very cool tournament. The French Championship, not French Regionals. Uh, the French Championship is coming to an end with the Grand Final here. It is 8 p.m. We are starting punctual. And uh, we have four players, four outstandingly good players, gifted players, who have um, battled it out here, more or less through the loser bracket or just directly through the winner bracket. As you can see, Link and Gwen have um, won against um, Hugo and Jaja in the winner bracket. And Link has gotten himself first position. That's why he um, is going into this match with 10 bonus points. And Gwen was second in there, so he's getting six. So a little bit of a head start, really. Usually it doesn't really matter too much, but still nice to have. Then we have also Binks and Jaja, who have fought their way from the loser bracket um, finals or the consolidation final um, into the grand final. So also a nice performance by them. Really looking forward to that as we're starting with the map Kyogre. But hey, before that, yeah, this tournament, 64 players. And now we are left with four, so there's also a prize pool. First place gets 80 euro and a trophy and the qualification for the next round. 50 gets... Um, uh, <laughs> second get 50. Yeah, 50 gets second, okay. Second gets gets 50 euro and a secret present, so that's not um, announced yet. So um, we can only take a guess or something like that. Maybe you guys can uh, in the comment section or in the, in the actual uh, live... <laughs> Chats can uh, make a suggestion or like any guess, but um, yeah third place also 20 euros So no money for last and the point limit is 130 not 120 It's 130 for the grand final as we have a very close round here started all off with we have Jaja in the mix Binks and Gwen are overtaking him, but the ending is deciding it here in this section You really want to get a lot of speed Jaja is doing it very nicely He has a lot of speed Binks with the low jump That's why you want to do it, but Jaja is going for the attack Jaja with less Speed since he didn't touch the ground as early as Bings and he will also get overtaken not by Gwen Oh, so Jaja with the second position Bings in first and that was indeed a great round Gwen was very strong on this map and only get getting away with four points But that means that he's still on that tight second position despite he only has gotten himself third position But you can see it, it's going the gap is yeah, like going even as very very soon So that's what you can see here so, nice round to start it all off with here. And uh, we play five maps in this grand final with a total uh, of five rounds. So, um, every map will be seen probably uh, as we have five maps. As I've mentioned, one warm up beforehand and then five live rounds. Points repartition, as you have seen, is 10, 6, 4, and 3 for the respective placements. And let's go here again because you really want to maintain a lot of speed over this dirt section as Gwen is just displaying it. Thus, you have to go very close there to the barrier. And it is Gwen staying ahead. Gwen staying ahead and he's on a monster time. The WR here is a point. 4x links make, link making a mistake. So Jaja again on that second position and Gwen could go in the lead since the link has made that mistake points wise of course and that's a good time here probably 6x yep a point 65 so that is a great time from the game war player Gwen but also Jaja here with a comfortable uh, second position again and with that he will come closer and closer towards Binks and Link so too bad that Link has made that mistake there but uh, things like that can of course happen as um, this is a high pressure situation but um, yeah, let's see how the third round uh, will develop here. As every player gets a good start. Link, I haven't really seen too much from him. Has only gotten himself uh, two last places in those rounds. So let's follow Link here. The Grizzly player played really good in the um, winner bracket final where he was beating even Gwen. And also Bings was yeah, like unstoppable on uh, the consolidation final and the loser bracket final. And the consolidation final he was able to clock in in 15 rounds 120 no 137 points so that was a crazy performance from Bings just taken into consideration and uh, yeah Gwen is just taking another 10 pointer here and that sim it seems that he's on a ma monster time here he's saving it a little bit but another 7 or 8x from Gwen here let's take a look here yes a point 70 okay Gwen calm down you lost run round it's fine but you don't need to like destroy your opponents like that 
Wow, so Gwen with a great time again with a 0.70. Um, the WR is a 0.46. So that is uh, a very good time here from him. And uh, the WR is actually by Binks. And Binks currently in second position, tied with Link. But Link only with 10 points in the last three rounds. Bear in mind that Binks and Jaja haven't really, haven't gotten themselves a bonus points coming into this grand final. So, um, yeah, looking good for Binks in this round. As he's already 800s ahead of Binks, uh, ahead of Gwen. And then we have Jaja behind. Uh, already has made a mistake. He's two and a half seconds behind. Binks and Gwen in first and second. Link in third. So let's go with Link. Gives us a very good overview here, as you can see in that round number four. So Link is still behind Gwen here. Gwen goes for the attack. Has a good amount of speed here to work with, but so has it Binks. Binks again with that low jump, and you can see it's slightly faster, and that's what you want to do. But Gwen is now going for the attack. Can Gwen do it? No, Gwen with a misalignment still remain in second position, but an uh, awkwardly done drift there by Gwen won't serve him the first position. Binks getting 10 points and with that he will come closer towards Gwen and also extends his lead towards Link to 6 points. And yeah, that was map number 1. Not yet. We have one more round so I cannot count. Streamer cannot count. And let's go with this one here. Okay, it's a 39. Okay. I just checked the other ones. But the, the ones could have changed. So. That's a point 39. And uh, yeah, it would be cool if you guys can tell me if my uh, data is correct uh, that I have uh, researched, of course. Or you can just type in the WR in the chat. That would also be good. That would be really, really nice. But let's go to this one as Bing gets a very bad approach there. You could have really seen that as he was slipping onto the dirt that he will touch the wall there. And he was doing so indeed. So Bing's is dead. And now we have Link versus Gwen for that first position. So both of the players who have made it from the winner bracket into this grand final are betting it out here. Gwen with a good approach. It's Link, however, in the lead and he needs those 10 points here. Link, however, not with a good approach by the looks of it, but it's Gwen coming close, but it's not enough. So Link uh, with a not that fast time winning it here, but still a good round here by both of them. And Link will get his first 10 pointer here. Will need it up to 34 points. And yeah, Gwen, I mean, yeah, okay, he has gotten himself 36 points here in that first on that first map, so that's pretty good. Uh, but still, I think that Gwen will not have an easy task here to win this uh, tournament by the looks of it. So you can, of course, get challenged by the players, as you see from that level here. That level is crazy. That level is crazy in this grand final. I mean, it's an upset that um, Jaja has made it because uh, Jaja and Binks, Binks was unstoppable in the consolidation final, but Jaja was betting it out with um, Coco and Hugo, and it was Jaja eventually qualifying to the um, grand final here. So nice to see that. And now we have Winter is coming. It's a point 67. So thank you, chat, for letting me know. Let's see what my data is here. Um, I have. But winter is coming out with 52.6 just written down. But the WR is by Link. And Link is a player that I certainly haven't really seen too much in this competition. I've casted a lot of um, Gwen and uh, Jaja matches. And also um, Link. Uh, and also uh, Binks I've seen a lot in the last two matches. But not uh, Link. So I think I've only seen one or two Link matches. So um, let's take a look how... <laughs> how this will develop here so and I also want to <coughs> um, make sure that you guys know who is qualifying uh, who, who's who's not qualifying but who's sponsoring oh my god man I'm so brain dead who's sponsoring this tournament we have eSport line um, who's sponsoring this event and it's an event all as a association which aims to develop and establish eSports in sort which is in the west of France. They are organizing events and tournaments around video games and guys do not hesitate to follow them on their social media to support them. They're active on Twitter and I think on Instagram and stuff like that. So just search for eSport line if you want to support them and see the development in the um, west of France from this organization. And also Ubisoft Nadeo is sponsoring this event with um, bringing in Nadeo goodies 
for uh, all the persons who were here in the uh, grand final. So that is also nice to see and maybe even something with the prize pool. We don't know. But let's go into the first round here as Link is leading. So uh, Link, the WR holder on this map, is holding strong here and wants to come a little bit closer towards Gwen. Both of them are still in the lead because they just have gotten themselves the points. I mean, the 10 points for Link were super important, but what a close round there between Gwen and Binks. That is only two thousandths of a second between them. Great round, but also Link, they're getting a good ending. And with that, he is eventually getting himself that first position. So great ending there from Link. I just have to stress that one out. But this ending is quite hard to do because you have two lines, two similar lines. But you, from my perception, you want to take the outside approach. But it's very hard there to the, uh, avoid the pulls and squeeze yourself just between that and the um, three wheel section. So let's take a look here onto the next round. So great round there from Link. And let's see how he's doing it in this round. Uh, not the best trajectory. He was a little bit uh, hesita hesitated, hesitating there um, if he should do that turn or not. You could have seen it in his in uh, input. But yeah, it's actually Gwen leading the round with 0.2 of a second so he looks to be on a good time link is coming closer towards gwen here gwen however is still holding strong has a lot of speed here to work with but now the ending is deciding again gwen with a beautiful approach look at that that's how you have to do the ending and another 0.9 x from the first uh, player here is the winning time so gwen also with a very good time there uh, but not as close as the prior round since uh, jaja and binks have made mistakes but that means that Gwen is still claiming his lead. 58 points, 8 points ahead of Link. So last round here on this track. Winter is coming. No, wait, what am I talking about? That's the third round. What am I saying? I'm so brain dead. What is happening? So third Oh my god, third round, Bings and both Yaya made that mistake, Jaja went for the respawn, let's see if this is working out because Bings of course has no speed here to work with, and uh, I think Jaja will overtake him, ah, he has no speed either, <laughs> that's absolutely perfect, so Gwen is leading ahead of Link again, so Gwen and Link look unstoppable, there's already a huge margin here between them, 10 points, I mean they started with bonus points, so Bings and Link would have been equal, but still Gwen with another victory. Not the fastest time here, quote-unquote, of course. But Gwen um, still claims first place with that. So it doesn't really matter too much. Gwen with 10, Link with 6, Binks with 4, and then Jaja um, trying to respawn there again with 3 points. Next round, here we go. Let's take a look here. Jaja, not with a good start. And we can see one player dying again, and it's Binks. So Binks was also pretty strong here. I, I did he even play that map in the consolidation and winner bracket final, and loser bracket final. I'm actually not sure about that. But Binks is currently struggling, as you can see. He's three and a half seconds behind. And it's again the battle between Gwen and Link. They will meet in the Trackmania Grand League as well. And that's a very good fight here between them. Gwen again having the upper hand, as you can see. He's point one ahead, but Link can go for the attack in the ending. It's a very precise line, and Gwen is taking it. Link not with the best speed, and Gwen again with another sub-53 time. Again, a great round. And Jaja and Binks cannot keep up with the pace from them. It just looks like that, but still enough for them to finish but I mean three and four points look at the gap already it is 15 points between second and third and then 16 points between first and second so that is a huge gap that has to be cleared and um, yeah now <laughs> now we will go into the last round on this track as uh, Binks and Jaja are not making a mistake they really didn't have any momentum to work with here it seems that um, Binks and Jaja are struggling to uh, arrive in this grand final um, since Bin Binks was just in his zone in this last two rounds where he was dominating both of them. Really, he was playing out of his mind 
And now in this round, he's also doing pretty well. Also approaching this loop section pretty good. But still, Gwen is in the lead. But things coming closer. But Gwen with so much speed there. Look at that. That was a great uh, approach from Gwen from the game world play. And also, Jaja is doing it good. So Link this time around, not in the second position. Is Gwen surviving the ending? Yes, he is. Not touching the free wheel. And it's Jaja getting second. What a great round of point 88. That is a very fast time here from Gwen. I just have to say that. Very fast time. And also good times from Jaja and Binks. But it was not enough to overtake them. But still, they have gotten themselves some sort of points and come a bit closer towards Link. So, um, yeah, Gwen looks unstoppable at the moment. Um, and let's just see how it will develop on that uh, next map, which is Endeme. Endeheme. <laughs> on dom on on dom i think that's the pronunciation i have no idea <laughs> but that is the next map that will be played <laughs> so sorry i'm not a french speaker i'm trying my best and uh, let's try to make it happen here as we have this map as uh, map number three five rounds one warm up beforehand and ali ali link yes miku let's see <laughs> I mean, there was a bet going on in my chat before, and that's why you can't see this uh, icon here. And uh, yeah, we were asking because the favorites are clearly Link and Gwen in this uh, match. And we we're asking if who is dominating this match and currently, or who's winning this match. And currently, it is Gwen over Binks and Link and also Jaja. So he looks unstoppable. I mean, 23 points. Look at that. That is crazy. That is uh, a crazy huge gap um, between first and second already but yeah those are just grand things the ending can be really hard here as you can see here link is doing that good um, yeah but not going to the ending I think the WR is a point 20 by um, super Galuf, if I recall it correctly so 53.2 point 20 maybe someone of you has a faster time out there but yeah I mean it was one anyway but well, let's go into the first life round here. Let's see how this round will develop. Develop 55.36. What did I search out? I have a point 55.20. Who? Why do I have a point 20? Maybe uh, I'm just dumb. But a point 36 by Jaja. Um, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna take that point three then. So that's the WR then. Okay, so Jaja has the WR with a point 36. Thank you, Ayona, for searching this one out. And let's see how the first round will develop. So ja maybe Jaja's strongest map here, as we can see him leading currently. And now the ice part is super decided. So if you want to steer not a lot on the ice, but if you go in the bobsleigh, you want to steer very smoothly. And with that, Jaja finds himself... Oh, actually on P4 with that. Who's getting first? It is Gwen winning again with a point 59. What a great round. It's point 62 from Link. And then we have Jaja and Bings behind that. But again, a very great round. Jaja has failed the ending there. This um, ending is pretty hard to do. But also a very nice speed side there from uh, Gwen indeed. I thought that uh, Bings had better actually. But that wasn't the case. So next round coming up. So I think this is Jaja's map here. But uh, we're gonna see if uh, he is redeeming himself as the WR holder. So let's take a look here. Beautiful transition here from Jaja. He's 0.2 ahead. What is he doing? That is such a good line here from Jaja TM. Only the ending is remaining. And of course the um, um, roll right as well. This is really hard to do. But gets a really good... Oh, actually wonky approach. But lands in the slope. Gwen has more speed to work with though. Now the ST is coming up. Oh, Gwen is doing it so good. Gwen is doing it so good and goes into the lead again. Gwen will win it. No, it's Jaja actually winning it. Four thousandths of a second. I thought that Gwen had it, but I think he sealed a little bit too much. But Jaja is taking that 10-pointer. Wow, that was crazy. I thought really that Gwen had more speed, but that wasn't the case. So 269-ish times. Bear in mind that this point 20, 33 behind WR. So great times. Not gonna lie. Driving those times consistently is important for the players. 
But you can see Gwen at 104 points. He's already through here. I mean, it feels like that the final hasn't even started. And uh, Gwen also has surpassed the 100 points barrier. But nothing is set in stone. Because there's still the finalist note that has to be done uh, from Gwen, of course. What's the money? Uh, I've already mentioned that, but the price pool is 150 euro. 84 first, 54 second, and then 24 third position. Nothing for last, unfortunately. But let's take a look here into this round as Link is in the lead. He's looking to be on a good time. Binks is behind, getting more speed. Link is, can take this one, has a little bit more speed. Is he taking it? No, it's not enough. Oh, but that was so close again. A point 70 and a point 72. So again, good times here. Gwen and Jaja behind that. So um, tables have turned here, as you can see. And uh, yeah, close rounds indeed on this map. We have Link winning this one. Gwen only with four points. And this means that Link comes closer towards him. And yeah, let's go into the next round. So 59 points for Jaja. And also Bing's not doing too good. So both other players who went from the loser bracket or from the loser. Um, yeah, w lost one match, let's say like that. Ha are right now struggling. And uh, not looking too good for them. But uh, still... Uh, I mean, nothing can happen. Everything can happen. I mean, you can see Gwen making a mistake, so he can be stumbling, and point limit is 130. So not 120 as the usual cup mode. It's 130. So let's see how uh, Jaja is doing that turn. That was very nicely executed. He has a little bit more speed by the looks of it than Bings. And also better entry here. Goes so close there to the CP. So Jaja is really pushing it in the last couple of uh, turns here. And he's going to the lead. Now the SD is, of course, very important here from Jaja, he's not doing it so well. So what a fight, he was getting first, it is actually Bings from third to first. Yes, and again, so close there for that first position. 23 thousands of a second, and also Link was not so far away. So crazy round yet again, and it is Bings and Jaja, both in third and fourth position, getting first and second in this round. And uh, yeah, Gwen has made that mistake, and I think he was finishing actually in third, so that wasn't too bad. So, next round, Link behind, 0.15 of a second. So let's see if he can catch up from that. Looking very good here. He can come closer to Jaja and Bings, but Gwen is still leading. Gwen in the lead, and he is extending the lead just a little bit, but Bings going for the attack, inside approach, going so close there to the wall. And um, yeah, also Gwen, I mean, it's back and forth here, but now the ice is deciding it. That's the most decisive part here. Link, a lot of speed, and also the SD here. That's a dirt block. The dirt boost block that they're going over that. And uh, Link again with a good SD. But makes the mistake and Link is dead too far to the bottom there. And flying out of that Gwen with a point. F oh my god. Gwen with a point 44. Which is point one away. And he is not finalist yet. The point limit is still 130. Has changed throughout the tournament. In the um, consolidation final. In the loser record final. And also in the winner record final. We had a point limit of 120. And before that we had 100 points. And in this grand final we have 130 points. So next map, Geodesic. Very cool map, really liking that. Um, a map that is using a lot of different um, yeah, undergrounds, as you can see here, normal road. Then we have Tormac here and grass, and then another transition here onto the platform block, going to the dirt. And yeah, this map is pretty hard to do, I would say. It's a pretty hard map where you can lose out on momentum pretty quickly, especially in the ending. Also, the ending jump can be pretty hard to do, but you can see this line here, pretty wide turn where you just tap the brake just once or twice. So a little bit of a speedy, speedy attack map where you also exceed the 300 kilometers per hour and you want to minimize airtime as much as possible. And also, uh, do not lose as much speed on the dirt as possible. 
So Jaja is doing that pretty well. The WR is a one minute point. Um, I think we have seen already a one minute point uh, three or something like that. We have seen uh, a point 35 by Binks in the match. So uh, then he has apparently done WR in the match. <laughs> and also people have said me that a WR is a one minute point 30. Um, but didn't say who it was, but maybe Binks. So Binks can or has to wake up here when is almost finalist. And then he has to win one more round in order to go home with 80 euro and the trophy. So a physical trophy that uh, will be sent into Gwen's post office or whatever or <laughs> to Gwen. So that is crazy that you can win a physical trophy. Really cool idea. Let's take a look here. Who's gonna take it if players can deny Gwen the final status because Gwen has to win it. He's at 122 points. You activate the finest mode at 130 points. And currently it's looking good for Binks here to deny Gwen, but it's so close there. They're inside of each other. Three thousands of a second. Binks with a little bit more speed, but it doesn't really matter too much as this part is really decisive, but Binks with a mistake. So Binks is dead. Also Link is so far behind. So Gwen with a free ticket here of uh, getting himself up into the finalist mode here by the looks of it. Point 25 behind, but Jaja's ending was also very good in the other rounds. Oh, he has more speed. Let's take a look who's getting the better transition here. Gwen is doing it quite well, but now one more jump to the right is remaining, and Gwen will indeed clock in the finalist mode. Good luck to him. 165, and let's see if he can win the French Championship. So, Gwen has plenty of finalist attempts to work for here he, the people are look at that link is 36 points away of reaching the finalist mode so it is not a lot of pressure that is on the shoulders of uh, uh, from from Gwen at the moment as I'm not really sure if he is even feeling pressure or not uh, by his playing style playing so consistent and so fast by risking so much kind of but let's take a look here. Can Gwen use his first finest attempt into it as his advantage and goes can go home with 80 euro? Or will someone of those players will deny Gwen the game ward player here? Or will he just win yet another event? So far it's looking like a very close round here between all the players. Look at that. It's every player inside of each other. 0.1 of a second between all of them by driving 36 six seconds of the map but Gwen is currently leading Link is going for the attack as well as Bings they're both leading but Gwen with more speed Link with a good transition here look at that the ending will decide it here between Link and Gwen Gwen is however a little bit further behind but gets a good amount of speed here what is that for a round oh my god holy moly but it is Link ja Jaja and Gwen Gwen is risking it and Gwen is not taking it this time but what a round is that 0.52, 0.57, 0.58, and a 0.60, and Gwen is getting denied. That was the craziest round, I think, that we have seen so far in this tournament, and when it was needed. So Gwen had to risk the ending there, but he couldn't really um, finish more to the right. And now getting a bug, I think, or was it just a slowdown? I don't know, but Gwen is dead in this round, as well as Jaja. Okay, can you see the spice? Uh, coming into this uh, tournament into or into this match so uh, Gwen is not making it for sure here in this round unless Link, Binks and Jaja are all dying but the Gwen is 2.3 seconds behind and let's take a look who's getting first position Binks with good amount of speed and maybe Binks um, uh, was waking up here in the last couple of rounds because he's really in need of those 10 points now he said 84 points, but he looks strong here in this round. Look at that. Goes for the risk over the beam. Has more speed than Link. Let's take a look here. Link. Can he overtake Binks in the ending? Who's risking it more? Both are, safe to say, in that uh, top two. And they will stay there. Binks with a 101.05. So not the fastest time. Link in second. Jaja in third. And then we have Gwen in last. So... You can really see the difference here and also the difficulty of this track. So that what made that uh, previous round that remarkable. <clears throat> okay, next round. Third finest attempt for Gwen after having a bug and getting denied or a slowdown or whatever. Um, he is on his third finest attempt and currently it's, look, it, it's looking like that he has survived the start. Yes, indeed, he has done so. Good speed for Gwen. He's currently in first. So can Gwen clock in that first position and go home with 80 euro and a physical trophy that will send to him. So it's a really cool prize if you ask me. And win the French Championship yet again. So he will be the defending uh, champion with that. 
And currently it is looking good for Gwen. He's leading Binks with more speed as well as Link. So they are not giving up. It is Jaja being dead. But now Gwen has to push it. He has nothing to lose. Binks with more speed though. Let's follow Gwen for the last couple of turns. Only... Two more turns are left there. This left hand and the right hand. And then, of course, the ending. Gwen is risking it. Binks with good amount of speed. And Binks will indeed deny Gwen the victory. And clocks in a very good time. You're point 44. And, and it is Gwen getting denied again for the third time. Oh, man. What a spicy final. <laughs> Gwen is not through yet. Gwen is not through yet. Finals attempt number four for Gwen. Oh man, this is being dreadful for him. Ah, uh, as someone else gets a slowdown and it's Jaja. So Jaja struggling a lot, falling behind. 90 points forever for him, but Gwen now wants to say, okay guys, you know what, I have enough of that. But in the meantime, everyone else has made a mistake except of Binks. So let's follow Binks here. He has to overtake Gwen here has to, to take so many risks because if Gwen wins this round, he wins the French Championship and gets himself that first position with 80 year and a physical trophy and he will be the defending champion. But Bings, also the finest of last season, is pushing it here as you can see, but he has not the most amount of speed here compared towards Gwen. But Bings goes for so many risks, you have to be kidding me. What was that line from Bings that was illegal, almost making that mistake there. But Bings is denying Gwen again. You, no way. Bings, you have to be kidding me. What an ending. Binks is up again to 114 points and Gwen gets the night so many times in a row. But yeah, Binks is not bonking into the wall. And now we have a grand final, boys. We have a grand final. Link up to 118 and Binks up to 114 points. So they could um, potentially make finals mode in two rounds. But they have to, of course, deny um, Gwen as well. Hmm. <laughs> So guys, the thing is, Embers is a map by Link. And this map is not good for Gwen. Jaja and Binks and also Link are super good on this track. I don't want to jinx them. But this map was created by Link. And the WR here is um, a 1 minute 1.78. That's the fastest time I could have found by Energize. But we have seen a 69 by Gwen already. So that's the WR. Not sure how consistent he is on this map. But we have uh, uh, one warm-up before the live round. Okay, it's actually the 69 that he did. So the 69-8 was done in a match, by the way. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. <laughs> so Gwen is strong on this map, but I'm not sure how consistent he is. That's the that's the problem. And the other players are, of course, um, well of making it here. Link was doing outstandingly good ending sections here. But um, yeah, one warm-up is um, deciding it here. Who has the momentum to go into the first round as Link... And um, Bings are chasing Gwen here, who's still finalist. So you're not losing your finalist mode if you um, if you not win the rounds. So Gwen finishes the warm up in first in <laughs> in the normal mode we call it warm up, Andy. But hopefully this won't occur to him. A point eighty eight that might be enough to win it. But let's take a look here. Ten seconds of a breather, and I'm gonna take a sip of water. <laughs> Rave. <clears throat> so have fun to the players. And let's go with finest attempt number six, if I count correctly for Gwen here. The other players have come a considerable amount closer. But it's Link actually losing his gear there by steering. And uh, gets a so-called gear down or gear change bug. So he is out of that race. He's point four behind. And this leaves us with three players. And there's the finest under them. We have Gwen betting now with uh, Binks and Zsa here for that first position. If Gwen wins this, he is getting himself 80 euro and the physical trophy. So that is really cool to see. And um, currently it is Binks leading, however. But Gwen with more speed. Gwen with a better approach. Goes for that no side. That was beautifully executed by Gwen. TM by the game we're playing. And he's going to the lead. Has more speed, I wanted to say. But has the better angle here. But, oh my god, Binks, what are you doing? Binks is doing the bongs and he's dead. Gwen has 0.3 to work with here and he looks like to win it. Let's follow him here for the last turn for the last right-hander. And Gwen is only one job remaining and he is winning it. 
Gwen is the defending champion of the French Championship, goes home with 80 euro and a physical trophy. Well deserved victory. GG. Impressive performance from Gwen there. I have to say that. Um, deserve victory. Um, stumbling a little bit, but um, despite stumbling there in the ending, no one is finalist yet. But we're still gonna play out for <laughs> second and uh, third. So uh, second goes home with um, 50 euro and third with 20 euro. So also a good price pool here. So let's go ahead and check who's gonna take it. If it will be Bings or Link. Currently it's looking like Bings is gonna win this round. Link only needs a second position in order to advance into the finals mode. So let's take a look how he's doing it. Currently being attacked by Jaja here. And he has more speed, so Link has more speed than him. Also goes for the inside approach there, but Jaja with a beautiful turn there. And also Bings making again a mistake at the ending part. So Bings unfortunately making um, mistakes there in this uh, those ending sections. And it is Link winning this round. However, it's Jaja with an inside approach going over the snow. And with that, he gets penalized. And it's Link winning it with a 102.10 and being in finalist. So good luck towards Link. So a refund. <laughs> yeah man. So Link, Bings and Jaja. Link can get himself finalist or is finalist and Bings can get finalist, pardon me. I just wanted to say that. And uh, yeah, let's uh, go with uh, Bings here who has to deny Link. Link currently is leading. But just by a small margin, Binks with an interesting approach. Link with more speed by not having airtime. So that was nicely executed by Link, by the Grizzly player. Um, has recently joined this organization, which is uh, rather new or is new in Trickmania. And right now he plays against the Exalty player, Binks, who has a good part here. And also is currently leading, clips the grass there a bit, so he lost a little bit of time. Link is coming closer. Link can take this Binks with a better apex over this section. Link, however, with not more speed, and it will be Binks winning it with a 101.81. That was a great round and a great ending from Binks, risking it a lot there and at the ending. So Binks also up to finalist, and that means double final situation. Binks against Link, and looks like Jaja has fallen a little bit behind. 107 points, he still needs... He needs to win three rounds in a row now in order to advance into the finest mode and have a chance for that uh, second place himself. So let's let's take a let's take a look. Let's take a look here onto Jaja, who's also behind, so he's not really feeling this grand final, but a huge accomplishment for him that he has reached the grand final here. Definitely an underdog for me that he has made it that far. But um, currently not looking too good for him that he will get himself first or second. It's between Binks and Link for that second position. Who will get 50 euro and who will have? Who is still has to play? Binks or Link? Grizzly versus Exalty. Binks versus Link. They've re met themselves also in the grand final last season. So we have three out of the four um, finalists um, from the prior season in this French championship. And it's looking like Binks is taking his revenge. So Binks is having a very good section. But Link with more speed. Who's taking it? Binks with a very good approach. What an ending here from Binks. And he's taking that second position. Impressive performance here from Binks. Going home with 50 year and the present. And we don't know what the present is. So nicely executed ending there from Binks. And Link has again like a little bit of PTSD from the prior season since he has gotten himself third place there as well. And um, he had to settle down behind Coco, who was second, and um, Gwen, who was in first. So let's take a look onto Link here, who has to battle out against Jaja, who is also not doing too bad. He's at 111 points, so he needs two more victories in order to get himself up into the finals mode. But yeah, Binks with a very good comeback here, not gonna lie. Uh, he has won a lot of rounds on that prior map and also here has gotten himself a lot of points. So impressive performance from Binks. Too good that he has gotten himself the momentum there. 
Let's take a look onto Link. Link with more speed going to the ending section here. Let's take a look onto him as he's going very inside. What an approach by Link. Oh my god, man. What was that approach from Link going to the lead? 13 thousands of a second and it's so close here in the ending. Jaja, however, with more speed has the better Apex, but no, it will be Link who will take it. He will take the sec uh, the third position and 20 euro with a 101.92 and this ending has decided a lot. So Link is your bronze medalist, Jaja. Unfortunately, not going home with some money, but a nice final, I have to say. Jaja bringing up a great fight, nice comeback from Binks, and deserved victory from Gwen. GG.